Hey everyone, it's the Viper in here and welcome back to another Crash Team Racing video and I know, Hapus Pyramid Spiral section can be a pain in getting used to. So if you are having trouble with it, you are in the right place. I will show you how I do it for all driving styles which includes speed, acceleration, drift, turn and balance. So if you like this type of tips and tricks videos or Crash Bandicoot content, remember to click on the subscribe button as every support from you guys are appreciated. And the comment, or should I say comments of the day from my previous video goes to Marco BB and the ASE2096. And I really think this is actually really important. I want to put this out there that yes, even if you haven't beaten Entropy, Oxide or Emperor Velo yet, you can still use my developer time trial guides for it. And hey, does that mean that you are a noob? Of course not. Every victory comes with experience and practice, because you know what they say, you can't plant a tree without placing the seeds first. Again, congratulations to you two and thank you for commenting on my last video. So the context of the video will be as follows. I will first show you my methods for all driving styles for the spiral section. And then I'll give my personal opinion on which driving style I find the best for Papu's Pyramid. And hey, if you want to take a guess, comment down below right now and see if you guessed it right. Alright, so let's dive into the methods on how to do the spiral section of Papu's Pyramid. There are two main things in my mind when creating this guide. First of which is for you to be able to grab that turbo pad here at the end of the spiral. Because not only do I want to help you pass the spiral section with ease, but also help you to get that sacred fire so that you can maintain it for the rest of the race. And secondly, of course, the method that I'm about to show you will allow you to build up enough reserves so that you won't immediately lose that sacred fire at the end of the spiral. And with that out of the way, let's start off with the speed engine first. So the speed engine, because of how easy it is to drift in a straight line with it, this is probably one of the easiest driving style to use here. Start off by taking a jump here, and right after you land, drift boost twice to the left side, and try to get at least one perfect drift from this. Right at the first corner, your second boost should already be done. What you want to do now is to jump, boost, jump, boost. And then right at the last corner, jump, but do not drift. What your aim right now is to get to the turbo pad at the left side here. And the easiest way to do that is to drive straight ahead on the right side here. And then jump and hold the left key onto the turbo pad. And then immediately start drifting. You can actually do a bit of U-turn here if you feel that you are a bit off your mark. But that's basically how I do it with the speed engine. Now the drift engine, possibly one of the easiest engine to use as well here. Here's how to do the spiral with it. As usual, jump off the ramp here and then drift boost to the left side twice. Again, try to get at least one perfect boost from this. And then right at the corner here, what I usually do most of the time is to jump and then do 3 drift boosts all the way. You don't have to worry about ramming into the wall for this one because of the higher turning stats than speed. Right at the end of the second corner, you should have already done all of the 3 drift boosts. Now all you need to do is to jump and stick to the right side of the track. And then jump to the left side from here onto the turbo pad. And then immediately start drift boosting to avoid losing the fire. And this is how you do it with the drift engine. And now the acceleration slash turn slash balance driving style. I put these three together because I actually use the same method for the three of them, as they play almost exactly the same here. The way you can do it with these three engines on the spiral is kinda similar to my drift engine method but with a slight change. Again, jump off the ramp from here and then drift to the left side only once. Because if you do it twice, it will make you ram into the wall on the left side. After your single boost, do a U-turn to the left side. You have to do this because your anger is kinda messed up after that first boost. After the U-turn, same as the drift engine, drift boost around the corners for a total of 3 times. Right before the second last corner, stick to the right side of the track and then do a U-turn to the left side. Or just do a normal jump to the left side, if you feel like you can make it. But I usually like to do a U-turn here as it gives me a little bit more control over it. And of course, immediately drift boost once you're on the turbo pad to make sure that secret fire isn't lost. And that's pretty much about it. If you ask me which driving style I prefer in Papu's Pyramid, regulars on the channel will probably know that it is the Drift Engine. It is the engine that I beat the developer time trials with, and if I'm having trouble with Papu's Pyramid, the Drift Engine is usually my go-to savior. But hey, enough about me, what about you? What do you think about these methods? Does it help you out? Do you have your own way of doing the spiral section of Papu's Pyramid? Please share your comments down below and you might even make it to the next comment of the day in my next video. And of course, if this video helped you out, please like the video and share it out there so people who actually need it can benefit from it. Oh, and click on the subscribe button please, <laughs> it will definitely be a great help to the channel. And you can unsubscribe in the future anyway if you don't want to watch my content anymore. This is the Viper signing off, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.